You want doubt the log here, and you're probably wondering what I'm doing high above my testing laboratory here. Um, well, I've got a navigation problem I've finally gotten back to, and uh, I've kind of been analyzing it and see what people think of it. It's it kind of uh, has been a kind of a problem for me when trying to navigate from one place to another accurately. So here I'm going to show you what's going on here. So what we have is uh, these two NPCs which are basically the same they're just starting different places um, so I can click on them and they will go around 10 squares this way and 10 blocks that way and then they will go around basically like in a square or a cir circular pattern um, but as you can see they start here now then they will eventually drift this one will drift back to here this purple block and then the one oops the one that started on the blue will drift over to this uh, blue block and follow the sandstone path so you can just kind of uh, See, I, I kind of, it went from that blue to that blue. Now he's going to go to that blue. And then see, he says, uh, once, once he says something, he reached the point he needed to get to. So this is this is like A, B, and now he's going to C, and this is D, where he started. And then he will, will repeat the pattern. So, um as you can see it it kind of they're kind of uh, uh, from what I see it's it's like they're they're trying to find a level ground um, they're 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 going relative from where they're at in the X Y and Z and see they start at a higher Y um, and uh, so even though this guy started over here at three, he went over here to uh, um, two blocks lower, and then he went two blocks, uh, one block over on this side, and then when he came around again, he was down one block lower. So it seems like they're trying to find a level area <laughs> in some ways. I don't know. Um, that is my guess, but uh, my original idea was for them to uh, spiral out and like if if they got somehow transported far away from their home, they could spiral out and look for their home. But I noticed when I did that, they uh, they got way off track. So. Um, and here's even a, even a better point uh, that will uh, better example that will uh, emphasize that point. Um, I started one right here, and as you can see, he went to that yellow point, that yellow point, and that yellow wool block. Then the next time, he came to the pinks. And then the purple, and then the dark blue. And then when he came to the dark blue, he came here, he fell, falls into there, he goes in here a ways, and then he comes out and goes to this white block right there. And then he basically, um, his steady state pattern is this white block comes over here. And it actually goes down in this little this little cave here. It doesn't go anywhere. Um, it's uh, it's just a cave. Um, so eventually he will uh, uh, just go on these white blocks, and and that will be his pattern that uh, he uh, becomes a steady path for him. So you can see how far off he is from the original so 
I realize that, you know, if you're blocked terrain, if you come to a, like, you know, a high cliff or something like that, you're going to have problems like that. But I was just wondering if there was any way of maybe stabilizing his path, getting back to the original path. Um, that's, I don't know. It's, it's, a uh, it's a little puzzle that uh, I've been working on. I just finally got back to it and I just uh, thought I'd try to, uh, analyze it, uh, more scientifically, I guess you'd say. So see these guys, now they finally reached their, uh, their steady path here. Um, Click on him, and then I can go over here, and uh, I could probably run that, and he will. Uh, I, I did it twice. He uh, he uh, did go to the uh, white bases, like a baseball diamond or something like that. Um, let's see. So, I'll show you the, uh, let's do the other one, that way I won't interfere with uh, his uh, path. Um, in here, you see I have x, x dir x and x dir z. And that is added to each. Um, it's either added or subtracted here. Um, it's added to the z, and then on the next one, it's subtract from the x and added to the z. So that's what's making their path basically. Um, and that's all there is to it. And then there's a little mechanism to uh, to stop them for they don't when they when they start going away I can stop them by clicking on them in the inter interaction tab um, it will set a flag in the update tab right here so changing stop to to, to zero back to uh, one which it's initialized at so that's how that works um, oops Hmm. I don't know. That guy... Oh. I think I've got a problem here because these guys are running off the same, same variables. Um... So I think that's why this guy is drifting a little too much. I'll try and do this again and put them on fast. Let's see if I can do that. Speed him up. That might mess him up. I'm not sure. Yeah, see, he's doing something different now. Let's see. I know that chicken always gets in his way. Well, 
let's see. Usually he doesn't fall into the water that quickly. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Hmm. There he goes, though. Hmm. So, usually he doesn't fall into the water that quickly. That was just the first time around, but for some reason, all of a sudden, boom, he's got the... He's found a stable path now. And then he's going to go down there. Yeah, like... Okay, well... That's it. Thanks for watching. I uh, don't know if anybody has any input on this navigation scripting problem, but uh, it's it's interesting. See, I don't think that he should get off of the path. I mean, this is all. There, there must be some way wild carding the Y direction is what I guess is, is my uh, is my idea. So thanks. Bye.